Hello everyone, this is Alan with untetheredincome.com where I'm going to help you break free from the rat race. Hello everybody, this is Alan with untetheredincome.com. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the things you can check in case one of your WordPress sites got hacked. I had several sites get hacked and by hacked I mean if you were to go to, in this case I'm going to show you www.headphonereviewhq.com a number of times it would redirect you to another site. I believe there was like a celebritygossip.net, there were, there were like three or four sites that it would take you to. And the funny part is the first time that I, that I did it, I typed in my domain name and I got redirected to another site. I thought that I had just miskeyed my domain because I went back in, I typed in www.headphonereviewhq.com and it brought my site back up. Well, come to find out, basically these hackers were pretty intelligent. They ping their own server, find out if you've been there within, I don't know what time frame and they see that if you've already been there, then they would just leave you on your site so that you would think it was just a mistake. So the risk that you run is, and what I had is people were coming to my site to check out headphone reviews, but they would end up on another website, which means that they never saw anything I had to offer. So I'm going to walk you through how I found where this hack was and I'm going to hopefully help you find where where you might be able to identify the hack that occurred in yours. Now in my sites, the same hack was applied to every single one of the sites and in precisely the same exact place. That may not be the case for you, but I'm going to show you the steps on how you might be able to identify where these potential hacks are. So without further ado, let's get rolling. The first thing I do is I, uh, I go to Google and I download a program called CyberDuck. All that really is is a secure FTP. Now I'm using Bluehost. If you're using a different account, then you might not even need this tool. But using Bluehost, I wanted to be able to secure FTP into the host and then that way I could run some searches directly on the files in Bluehost. So I come in here and I download CyberDuck. If, if you have another FTP program that you prefer, go ahead and use that. It needs to have SFTP enabled, at least for Bluehost to be able to go in and do this. All right, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up CyberDuck. And once it's open, I'm going to put in my connection information to get to Bluehost. And in this case, my primary domain name is squareuptoday.com. That's my Bluehost account. So you go ahead and enter in your domain name. And you need to change it to SFTP. Then you're going to use the username that you would typically use to sign into your um, cPanel. And then you're going to put in your password. Hit connect and you're going to see here that I accidentally messed up. I didn't put in squareuptoday.com, I put up squareuptoda.com, so I need to go back in and change that. So now I hit connect and it will take me up to the server. And you'll see that it will log me in here in just a second, I'll see my directory structure. So we're going to go into www or public HTML, or if you have a different server, you you'll have to go wherever you know your, your sites are. In this case, I'm going to Headphone Review HQ. And now I'm going to go up and I'm going to open up a terminal session. Now in here, you have to enter in your password again so that you can get access to the directories. Once I do, I like to clear the screen so I have a nice clean slate to work with. So here, you'll see that I've already entered in a command. I already had it copied, so I just pasted it in. But basically, here's what you're doing. You're going to enter grep, space, and then dash R, and then space, base64, underscore decode, and then an asterisk. And really, all this is doing is this is going to search every single one of your files inside your site for the, the function base64, underscore decode. Now, here's the important part. The way that my account was hacked, or several of my accounts were hacked, is this, this base64 decode allows a hacker to kind of hide things in your code. 
So typically where you'd see a C underscore U or a C URL, which is client URL to be able to go over to another site. This, these hackers were, were really brilliant and I'll show you in just a moment how they went about it. But we're going to start with this. We're going to go ahead and hit enter, do the search, and you're going to see it search through all the files. So I'm going to expand this out here and really what you're looking for in this is this is all the instances of where base64 decode shows up. But what you're looking for is a big chunk, chunk of code that kind of looks out of place and just like this down here you see quite a bit of, of garbage right there which is not common in your WordPress installation. So that right there kind of tips me off that, that this might be the culprit. So looking at that I see that they created a function called counter underscore WordPress and there's a bunch of garbage in here and they do the base64 decode. So the next thing I'm going to do here So now I go to a site that has a base64 decoder and I copy this code and paste it in basically just so I can see what the heck they're doing. And you're going to see here it's it's pretty crazy. They are essentially just doing a a client URL over to another website, which is really frustrating. I mean basically they're sending your information, whatever was on your page, your your client URL everything they're sending it over to this other page so now I look and I see it's in my wp-settings.php file so I'm going to now I'm going to log into my Bluehost account and I'm going to go up to the file manager so log into cPanel all right now that the page is loaded up I'm going to scroll down to the file manager and then I'm going to choose my website, which is headphonereviewhq.com. I'm going to go in there. And now what I'm going to do is scroll down to that wp-settings.php file, and I'm going to open it in code edit view. And I'm doing this directly on the server. If you want, you can back up this file first, but in, in my opinion, it was already, it was already hosed. So now I went back over to the terminal window and I'm going to copy out the name of that function so I can just find it in there. So right here I'm basically doing a control C or a command C if you're in a Mac. And go back in here, I do a control F or command F and then I just paste that in. And you'll see right here that this function shows up and there's that string of base64 encoded garbage that you can't read. So basically all you need to do at this point is you need to delete that line of code. And that's it. Save the file. And you have now gotten rid of that thing that is hijacking your site and sending it to somebody else's website when, when people visit yours. But here's the key thing. Because what they were doing is they were sending the information over to their server, you can't trust anything now. Now you need to basically go in you need to, and, and you can see I loaded up my site now, and it didn't go to another website. But now I'm going to go to my WordPress administrator login. I need to go in there now, and I need to do a couple of things. One, I need to change my password immediately. It would not be a bad idea to also go in and change your uh, database password, because if they got in there, then they might have that as well. So you might need to do that, but you absolutely want to change your WordPress login. So down here, I enter in my new information. And now I'm going to update that. And once that's saved, you'll notice over there next to my plugins, I'm using the Fluency Admin plugin, which I really like. And that's what gives you this, these mouse overs and these things. But you'll see that I have a plugin that's out of date. This is probably one of the most crucial things that you need to do is make sure that you keep your plugins up to date. I would say log in every few days at the least and just go in here and update. Make sure you keep backups before you do updates in case one of the updates hoses your, your website. But it's very critical that you keep these up to date. PHP is what is behind WordPress. It's a scripted language, so there's ways for people to hack into it. So once you've done that, now you're pretty much set to go. You, like I said, you may want to go in and change the, the password for your SQL database, your MySQL database. 
but once you've got that you should be good to go keep your plugins up to date and and hopefully this will help you out if, if your site's been hacked now I only had one particular hack in this one that I could find and that was that base 64 but you might want to search through your files a little bit more another keyword that you can look for is CURL that's a URL based thing that runs from when within PHP that hits external servers you might look for those and see if there's anything that looks out of the ordinary there um, this has been Alan with untetheredincome.com I hope this has helped you out if you have any questions or comments if you have any feedback please leave them below subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, visit my site www.untetheredincome.com 